home is Josh from Cyclones Oz and I've got a serious update on the severe thunderstorm situation across southeast Queensland. Today will be the most significant severe thunderstorm outbreak at least since the 2023 Christmas storms and possibly this decade so far. Some extremely dangerous severe thunderstorms are expected to develop particularly towards the west of Toowoomba and Warwick but we'll also be seeing these very dangerous severe thunderstorms moving into the Brisbane and the Gold Coast area later on this afternoon and into this evening. We're already beginning to see the early signs of developing thunderstorms through the northeast of New South Wales. Today is going to be a long day with lots of thunderstorm activity. So if you are brand new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. I'll be going live on these thunderstorms when they do become dangerous across southeast Queensland. It is a very, very potent mix of conditions for southeast Queensland. So let's take a look at what we are expecting throughout the course of today. Convective forecast models are our best guidance. And the Axis convective forecast model generally is a very, very accurate one, particularly on days like this where widespread severe thunderstorm activity is expected. The Axis nine times out of 10 nails these thunderstorm forecasts. So what we can uh, do here is look at the axis and make some pretty educated and informed predictions as to what we are expecting. So as you can see from about midday onwards, but most likely around 1 or 1.30, we're going to begin to see these powerful severe thunderstorms developing along a line, basically, similar to what we saw later last night, uh, north of Narrabri in the northeast of New South Wales and Moree and Inverell, uh, up through Stanthorpe, Wollongara, and then outside of Gundawindi, west of Warwick through Toowoomba, and then up into the northern parts of the South Burnett Forecast District and into the Wyvernhoe Outlook. These severe thunderstorms will waste no time in becoming those said severe thunderstorms and by 2 or 3 o'clock we're expecting them to move over uh, the mountainous regions in towards the scenic rim and then eventually on in towards southeast Queensland. Powerful severe thunderstorms are expected further inland as well out towards Roma and Injun. Those will likely take shape after about 2.30 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon and evening and then these thunderstorms are expected to continue to develop as we get further on into the uh, early, uh, early evening hours and you can see through southeast Queensland that major severe thunderstorm potential then lies ahead between three and five o'clock. Now the convective forecast models uh, when these were run did take into account the high cloud cover across Southeast Queensland that we were seeing, but have a look at this. There's very limited cloud cover across uh, Southeast Queensland and the cloud cover that is occurring is now the origins of these thunderstorms. So it is a loaded gun situation through Southeast Queensland. There's no high cloud cover. There's no mid-level cloud cover either. It's just that low cloud cover that's gonna eventually punch through that convective barrier and we're gonna see severe thunderstorm development begin to take hold uh, in the next couple of minutes or so, on the next couple of hours or so. Now, the areas to watch throughout the course of today uh, is, uh, of course, that area where we're expecting these isolated severe thunderstorm development throughout the course of this morning into the early this afternoon, and that will occur in this area that I'm circling right now, so up uh, towards the west of Wyvernhoe Outlook, uh, up towards Kingaroy and Gympie, and this will also include Toowoomba and Warwick. Very powerful, potentially dangerous severe thunderstorms expected in this area, and this will occur between 1 o'clock and 4 o'clock. Now, between 2 o'clock and about 5 o'clock, we're going to begin to see thunderstorms develop developing into the scenic room and the Gold Coast hinterland, and very powerful thunderstorms are expected in this general area here, the second outline. Powerful and potentially dangerous thunderstorms are then expected after five o'clock, and these will come in the form of squall lines, particularly through the Brisbane area and then around the Wyvernhoe outlook, but also extending south towards the northeast parts of New South Wales, and north through the Sunshine Coast and potentially up into the Fraser coastline as well. Again, potentially very dangerous thunderstorms in this section too. Uh, lots of very favorable conditions, embedded supercells uh, and isolated and supercell activity expected in all three of these sections. Supercell thunderstorms are our strongest variant of thunderstorms and can bring very dangerous, severe weather conditions. Now you might notice, uh, or might have noticed, the Gold Coast was on the southern side of those significant severe weather conditions. And that is because later tonight, we are expecting these thunderstorms to actually push a little bit further north compared to where we were expecting. And for the hot spots later tonight to be around the Brisbane city area, but also by extension around the Gold Coast. So you can kind of think as what's gonna to happen today as two separate outbreaks. We've got our supercell cells out here. We've got more supercell activity expected down here and towards the scenic rim, which is kind of that middle ground between the two of them. And then these supercells, as they move towards the Brisbane CBD, will begin to upscale into large and powerful squall lines, connecting up with a bunch of thunderstorms in the region and then pushing in towards the Brisbane area into parts of the southern Sunshine Coast and also by extension into the Gold Coast and the northeast of New South Wales. And as mentioned, those areas just highlighted previously is where the strongest severe thunderstorm activity is expected. What's driving today? outbreak. Well, of course, we've got extreme convective available potential energy values. This is our instability that's moving in to the southeast Queensland scene, and this instability holds very strong right throughout the day. Right now, pushing around the Roma and the Injun area, we've got values around the 3,000 to 3,500, which is now mixing through the environment. And once it gets itself down here, which it's uh, going to in the next hour or two, where the thunderstorms are beginning to develop on this northeasterly trajectory, we're going to see this convective development really take off in this part of southeast Queensland. And then the snapshot, which you're looking at right now, which is 
at six o'clock later tonight, you can see a lot of energy and moisture pouring in here from the southern parts of the Coral Sea and the Sunshine Coast. And then that's going to combine with that trough and that's going to be moving through to the southeast coast of Queensland and create those squall lines, which you can see uh, will be expected later on this afternoon and into this evening. So we're looking at these values here, 2,000, 2,500. Again, extremely favorable conditions for these severe thunderstorms. And having a look at a convective sounding as well through southeast Queensland when these thunderstorms are getting themselves going. So this is around the Bow Desert area, an extremely sheared environment. We've got wind shear values around that 60 to 80 knots, which is uh, well above the 40 knot threshold for producing supercell thunderstorms. And a little bit, we'll push, pull this back a little bit earlier on to about right now, you can see that mid-level dry slot again with that moisture in the upper levels and down in the lower levels. Not to mention the very steep lap rates. So you can see this red line drop very, very quickly, uh, especially earlier on in the uh, atmosphere or down in the lower levels, dropping very, very quickly. That favors large hailstone development. And then this dry slot here where that blue line dips, that will also favor large hail, potentially gigantic hailstones, their development there. There's also that risk of tornadoes, as mentioned, where we're expecting supercell thunderstorms, which is in this area highlighted right now, is where tornadoes are going to be possible because embedded supercell activity or isolated supercell activity is expected to occur. And it kind of occurs again in two separate waves. We've got the tornado chances, which are at their highest towards the west of Warwick and Toowoomba in this little pocket here earlier on in the afternoon, up to 5% within 50 kilometers of any one location. And then later tonight, as these squall lines with embedded supercells pushing towards southeast Queensland, we could be seeing some... Uh, uh, tornadoes or tornadic events embedded into some of those supercells that are associated with that squall line as they push into the Brisbane and the Gold Coast area. Very, very similar to the outbreak that we saw back in Christmas 2023. And that's what caused all of the problems back in Christmas 2023 was that outbreak pushing through housing embedded supercell thunderstorms, which eventually dropped tornadoes through the Gold Coast and the Brisbane city area. Now, tornadoes are extremely rare in Australia. We only get about 50 of them each year compared to with the Americas, which see sometimes thousands, uh, but they are the most destructive element that a severe thunderstorm can drop and today we could be seeing wind gusts as strong as 140 kilometers an hour in tornadic warned supercell thunderstorms. We're also looking at the risk of giant hailstones. The greatest risk of giant hailstones is going to be a little bit further inland to Woomba and Warwick. The hailstones that fell around the Warwick area last night were absolutely incredible. They were the size of uh, hands. They were up around uh, seven or eight centimeters and the same risk is going to be there today. Again, with that instability, that lift in the atmosphere, the extreme cooling as we get up into the upper levels of the atmosphere, hail Hailstones up to eight centimetres are pretty much a given in some of these thunderstorms. And dare I say, we may be looking at some hail records being broken through some of these locations. It is just such a favourable setup for hailstones as well. Destructive winds will be accompanying those hailstones coming in at about 125 kilometres an hour, especially when we're talking about these associated with supercell thunderstorms. And those strong wind gusts, like I said, happening a little bit further inland and also around the scenic rim and Bow Desert area. And then later on tonight, as those squall lines push into the Brisbane and the Gold Coast area, the impacts will subside a little bit. Hailstones become more of that large kind of risk through the Brisbane and the Gold Coast area, but embedded supercell activity could still bring hailstones around seven or eight o'clock into the Brisbane area, up around that uh, five or six centimetre uh, size point. And this will also carry through through parts of the southern Sunshine Coast as well, up towards Caboolture, and then even in towards Gympie and uh, Kingaroo as well. And then as these thunderstorms move further north up through Maryborough, and then that squall line also picking up here uh, towards the north uh, west of Eidsvold and up towards Biloela, Dingo, and then Emerald. It's just such an expansive and such a widespread severe thunderstorm outbreak today. It's kind of hard to cover it all at once and in one video because there is just so much going on. Now, in terms of the biggest chances for the Brisbane City area, these thunderstorms, like I said, developing in this Boonobo Desert area, they're going to be the strongest thunderstorms localized to the Brisbane area, and they're going to be pushing in that northwesterly, uh, northeasterly tra uh, trajectory. So coming from the southwest, heading towards the northeast, and that means they're going to push through into the Brisbane City area, including through Logan, and then out towards Ipswich as these thunderstorms do begin to mature. Now, the Gold Coast isn't exactly in the greatest position to see widespread severe thunderstorm activity today. We will definitely see severe thunderstorms blowing through the Gold Coast area and also over the border into the northeast of New South Wales. Again, practically guaranteed this afternoon and this evening. But the bulk of these severe thunderstorms are going to head up towards Ipswich, then over the Wyvernhoe Outlook and then into the Sanford Valley, impacting Redcliffe like they did last night in a significant capacity through Caboolture up towards Bribie Island, Maroochydore, and then along the Sunshine Coast through here is where the ground zero is going to be for the remnants of these supercells and through that very powerful squall line that's going to push through. And I would just like to say that the most in-danger parts of the coastline are the ones highlight that I'm highlighting right now. 
down to about Coomera and Sanctuary Cove, just towards the north of the Gold Coast. Uh, along this red line is where severe thunderstorms are practically guaranteed to occur as we get later on towards tonight. Uh, I think you can get the picture. My terminology right now, the way that I'm speaking and the way that I'm trying to present this information, it's not a run-of-the-mill severe thunderstorm outbreak. Uh, in terms of uh, the sweat values, which is the severe weather uh, threat index, I can't really look at it on this uh, software here, but if I was to draw it, normally when we're talking about a sweat index, which is the uh, total risk for these severe thunderstorms, it's maxed out on a really good day through a very small location in a few isolated pockets. But today, the sweat index, which is that severe thunderstorm risk area, is maxed out through an area approximately the size of what I'm drawing right now. It is just such an expansive area where severe thunderstorm threats are sky high. Uh, and as this trough does sweep through, I'm afraid we're going to see some extremely widespread and extremely powerful severe thunderstorm activity. You thought yesterday was significant. Well, yesterday was the little brother. Yesterday was the warm-up compared to what we are going to be seeing this afternoon and this evening. And just checking in on those thunderstorms, we're already beginning to see a widespread display of lightning through parts of northeastern New South Wales at get this 8.35 in the morning. Lots of thunderstorm activity beginning to develop in isolated clusters. And you can even see these lines of thunderstorms now beginning to develop as well as we head a little bit further north in towards southeastern and south central Queensland around the Warwick area. Uh, and again, like normally when we're talking about shower activity like this, especially ahead of a big thunderstorm day, we're concerned about high cloud coverage, but there is absolutely none in the way of high cloud coverage and it is just that speckled kind of cloud cover that's causing these showers and that will eventually blow up into thunderstorms. Exactly how these severe thunderstorms began developing yesterday is how they are going to begin to develop today. So it is going to be a significant one. Ground heating already kicking itself off. Those temperature observations look a little bit cooler than usual, but I'm making this video about an hour and a half earlier than usual. So uh, it is going to be, again, another very hot day. And like I said, all of these conditions now very much coming together for what could be one of the most significant severe thunderstorm outbreaks in this decade. Very, very dangerous stuff. Now, in terms of the total risk for Brisbane and the Gold Coast, the comprehensive risk for Brisbane and the Gold Coast, it's not as substantial as risk is further inland. Of course, our very greatest risk of seeing severe thunderstorm activity is a little bit further inland from Brisbane and the Gold Coast. But we are still expecting supercell thunderstorm activity into the scenic rim and the Bow Desert area. It's not going to be as widespread as it is through these locations, but we will still see it, which puts Brisbane and the Gold Coast in the firing line for these storms. Not to mention, later on into the afternoon and the evening, we're going to see these squally thunderstorms and these squall lines move through through into the Brisbane and the Gold Coast city area, but particularly north of Brisbane as well, and then pushing up into the Sunshine Coast, and that's where some really gnarly severe thunderstorm conditions are expected. The chances of these thunderstorms bypassing the Brisbane area is, of course, more elevated than what it was a few days ago on the forecast models, but uh, and it is also a little bit more elevated than what it is a little bit further inland. However, I can still practically guarantee that severe thunderstorms are going to occur into the Brisbane city area, and there are a very high likelihood of occurring into the Gold Coast area, but I hope that that paints the picture that the severe thunderstorms are uh, just that little bit extra, more likely a little bit further inland out in towards the Toowoomba and the Warwick area, and again, further north along the Capricornia coastline as well, which is not something we've talked about in great detail in this forecast update, but also some pretty strong pulse thunderstorm and potentially some severe thunderstorm activity is forecast in these locations up here on the Capricornia coastline as well. Not to mention strong thunderstorm activity expected later tonight through the northeast of New South Wales, and that will also come in the form of squally thunderstorms, similar to what we will see later today into tonight through parts of southeast. Queensland. So all going to be happening, that is for sure. There's a lot to keep, a, uh, keep an eye on. There's a lot to keep close tabs on. Conditions are just extremely favourable for severe thunderstorm activity. Uh, and yeah, it just hasn't looked better in recent memory across southeast Queensland for these severe thunderstorms that are going to be developing through. It is just such a favourable picture for these severe thunderstorms. Uh, and I fear that we are going to see something very much uh, on the incredible side later this afternoon and this evening. So just to zoom it out and really take one last good look at what we are expecting later today, it's a eastern states wide out break through southeastern Queensland, but that also extends up towards Rockhampton and inland right out towards Jericho and Longreach and Roma, and then right down the New South Wales coastline as well, down towards Sydney, where more non-severe thunderstorms are expected, but we could still be seeing some stronger thunderstorms like we saw last night. For southeast Queensland, including the Brisbane and the Gold Coast area, you need to prepare now. You need to make sure that the garden is ready. You need to make sure the cars are away after about two o'clock this afternoon. And you need to make sure that you are staying on top of all warnings and watches coming out from official and unofficial sources. It is best to stay, uh, to stay prepared and informed in an event like this and make sure you are remaining on top of everything that is going to be coming through. It is imperative that you stay up to date and in the know when these thunderstorms are moving into your direction. Of course, we're expecting giant hailstones, very heavy rainfall, destructive 
massive wind gusts with the worst of that happening around the Warwick and the Toowoomba area further inland in towards Ipswich and then north towards Kingaroy, uh, Gympie and Kilcoy. Um, but we will be seeing these significant thunderstorms along parts of the Sunshine Coast as well into parts of the Capricornia coastline over the border into the northeast of New South Wales and of course through the Brisbane and the Gold Coast area. So that should paint the picture. A very expansive outbreak is expected this afternoon and this evening. Of course, for further coverage and information, stick around to the Cyclones Oz channel. I'll have a further update in a few hours on this situation here to let us know what thunderstorms are beginning to develop and when very dangerous severe thunderstorms do begin developing. I'll have detailed live coverage as well. Plenty more updates to come on the Facebook page, so make sure you do go and check that out as well. But that is going to be all for me for this morning. Uh, a special shout out, of course, to the not updated list of channel sponsors just yet. I'm going to get onto that uh, and I'll catch you all in the next storm.